Seems that Kama really is a bitch. Jojo Siwa seemingly is relishing in what mainstream media thinks is goth whilst humping in the sand, singing about Karma. It's come to our attention that no, Karma actually was not written about one of her exes. In a rather peculiar attempt to leave the bows and hey Jojo's behind, people are not buying what she's trying to sell. Jojo Siwa said in a short interview that she wants to have her Miley Cyrus bangers moment. I was like, this is this is what I want. This she is my number one idol. I was like, I want to do what she did with bangers. I want to have that moment. And I mean, look, I'm flattered that the world even can compare that. That's that's crazy to me. Which is like, no, Jojo, that is so inauthentic. You need to at least say the F word and have a hit of the vape because I know those ciggies are too povo for you. All right. This all caused information to surface that Jojo could have possibly used one of Miley's old scraps that never really got out of the vault. But wait, it goes even further back than this. Just only a day ago, a YouTube channel with 300 subscribers and 11 videos posted a very familiar sounding song sung by Brit Smith. In 2012, Brit Smith recorded Karma's A Bitch, and it was actually written by Antonina Armado, Tim James, and Desmond Child. Exactly what you hear in JoJo's version already happened in 2012. This single was heavily teased, however, it really just never caught anyone's attention. Maybe it really was made for Jojo, but weirdly enough, this was originally a Miley song. A year prior to Brit Smith's version, a reliable Miley Cyrus Updates account tweets, it's up to you if you want to believe that karma's a bit is not a Miley song. A very reliable source confirmed it to us. This was only said because at the time, the song was actually leaked to the public. And it looks like Miley even interacted with Brit, Timberland, Rock Mafia, like the people who produced the track at the time. Miley says, don't forget me, B. Rock Mafia replies, can't forget what's unforgettable. This is all very important information, mind you, because people are claiming all over social media that Jojo Siwa stole this song word for word. Jojo Siwa stole Karma. Help. Jojo Siwa didn't write Karma. It's an unreleased song from 2011-2012. She took word for word. Link to the lyrics site to see all the lyrics identical to the ones Jojo used because she stole them all. So is what people are saying correct? Did she actually steal the song? Did she just yoink the lyrics? and said, hey guys, it is Jojo here, and today I wrote this song about my ex. Let me go hump real quick. No, in fact, she never did that whatsoever. She never even claimed that she wrote the song. It never came from the heart of Jojo Siwa. And once again, all this does is divert away from the damning Rolling Stone article, as well as the fact that Jojo is still actively hanging around with Colleen Ballinger and James Charles. She invited invited these disgusting humans to her release party. I really, oh my God. I wish people were as loud about, you know, all this stuff than her supposedly stealing a song. Like I really just want people to use their brains just for one second. But who am I kidding? I can't really blame anyone because like I can see why people maybe are under the assumption that Jojo claimed to write this from the very bottom of her heart. Here Jojo is talking about creating stuff that feels very true to her. Insinuation being that karma could be her own very creation. I've grown up for 11 years now in front of the world and I have always been about making art. It's what I love to do and um, I've always been genuinely myself and I've always created stuff that felt true to me and um, as I got older I really wanted to create stuff that was gonna make the world say what the fuck? <laughs> and the fun thing is with karma, I wanted this first breakout adult moment to do that. I wanted this first adult breakout moment to 
make people's heads turn. On Jojo Siwa's podcast, she talks about the fact that she was given this song two years ago when she was 18, but was afraid to sing it because she wasn't quite ready to call herself a bad girl. This song is special. Karma is special. This was two years ago. So I was, I was 18 still. I was very afraid of the lyrics of Karma. I wasn't ready to say I was a bad girl. I wasn't ready to say I should have known better. If I had a wish, I would have never effed around. Another late night, another crazy mood, and I didn't think twice what it would do to you. I didn't feel comfortable saying that yet. I didn't feel comfortable singing that yet. But I, I told her, I said, this song is special. I want it. On Billboard News, Jojo talks about taking a song and singing it because she can relate to it. I don't hear a song and then just put my voice on it and hope for the best. You know, I, I take a song that I can relate to or that I have a story to relate to or that I know somebody that you know, related to me. From what we currently know right now, Jojo has never actually claimed that she wrote the damn song. However, what we could argue is that by Jojo saying that she's creating an entire new genre of music could very well imply that she wrote and created Karma herself. I wanted to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, called gay pop. And obviously that is still pretty laughable because Jojo Siwa hasn't created any new genres of music. Not only does it already exist, but it's very much alive and well, sweetheart. And it has been before Jojo's version of Karma. And I really think this whole, hey, don't support this at all. This song was stolen from Brit Smith's 2012 Karma's a B, word for word, is stolen. It's kind of just taking a away from what was written in the Rolling Stone article that again, I wish people were just as loud about, but because it's more than a month old, nobody cares anymore. And I've also been getting so many DMs saying, Drama Queen, you are right. It is all a distraction. No, it's logic, babe. It's logic. Use the noggin, okay? But anyways, Jojo didn't steal the song whatsoever. It seems to me that Jojo's team approached her with this song, pitched it to her and was like, what do you think about this? What do you think about this moving forward in your grown up adult effing era? And Jojo liked it enough to make it her entire personality for the month. So with all of that being said, everybody, what are your thoughts and opinions down in the comments? section below. Have you got any proof to Jojo Siwa claiming that this karma song is hers and her heartfelt lyrical piece? If so, let me know down in the comment section below or email me at dramaqueensubmissions at gmail.com. Thank you for your stay at Yappersville today, everybody. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love, love your fucking selves. Okay? Okay? Do it. Now!